There is a big difference. You know which one is the difference? Is that a piece of parmigiano like this, hard block, it costs $20 in the, where you come from. Yeah. Here too, that's, it's not be cheap. Oh, Costco cheap. Hey. <laughs> The big $20 parmesan bag, like this, you need like half a bag to give the taste to something. So that's, you're gonna die of cholesterol. But right? with this, one spoon, it's enough. It's beautiful, very tasty. So that's, it's not because it's bigger that it's not better. All right, it doesn't change nothing. Buy the parmigiano or grana padano. There is many, but in Italian, don't buy nothing else, don't put nothing else. Then, we have a ricotta. I don't know if it's a ricotta, or this is a beautiful ricotta eh, from the area. And we have a mozzarella. Mozzarella, okay, mozzarella. So, when uh, you do it with this, we're going to get uh, now a little bit of mozzarella. Okay, to the next side. And, little more of the ricotta. Okay, show, show you the doses. The people that don't come up and tell me how much of mozzarella, I have no idea. It's all by hand, look. Mozzarella, a little bit. Ricotta, a lot. Huh? A lot. Then, then we put a little bit of parmigiano, not too much because it's very expensive. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of a salt. And then in this case, which I love it, I love basil. Yeah. I love basil, fresh basil. I like it to put some fresh basil inside. Like a you could give, you could give. You could give, no? Yeah. <laughs> you are to continue because you know what? The more you work it, and the best it's going to be. Okay? So of course, this is Right, you see, we mix everything. Okay. Now we make pasta. <laughs> now we make the ravioli. Okay. Okay. Hello. Now take your balls with me and follow me this way. Right. Turn around and follow me. Yes. Around this one, right? Okay. Okay, hello. Well, this is, of course, to show you. All right, this is to show you. All right, now we have two machines. The old and the old one. Because it's a long time. Imagine this. I mean, this is called the Italian pasta machine, which... Beautiful. Okay, now, <laughs> no, this is better than this. <laughs> no, 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 your fault, I forgot, because I should have told you. If it's too soft, add a little bit flour. If it's too hard, add a little bit milk. These are the doses. So man, eh, these are the doses. Eh? There is a vibrating, my phone is vibrating in my pocket. <laughs> okay, so anyway, with my wife. I don't know, we're going to now. I wanna, we were talking about this. The easiest way to make pasta is with this. All right? Well, you don't need it. I show you now. You don't need it. But this machine, I love it. It's called the Italian pasta machine. It looks the same as it's a Mussolini. All right, the Mussolini days that they have this thing here. I have very old one, you know, the use as a book. And this is made of two parts, which is the most beautiful thing. One. <laughs> it, it comes off, yes, it comes off of it when you clean it, you take it off. Actually, here you can add more pieces. Every part, you see, because the first part here is a squeezer. We're going to do what we do with this, okay? The second part, we're going to shape it. But then, eh? All right, let's go ready. Let's start with the soft one. All right, let's just say. <laughs> right. Let's go like this. I like to work with lots of flour. We're using always the semolino flour, eh? Semola hard grain flour, not the double zero. Then another thing I see a lot of people do because they think they take less time is to do it all of it. Too much. No, you don't need. A little piece at a time. All right, one third of this. 
Now put this is yours, and this is yours. Okay? Now, let's start to make this squeeze it. All right? You start. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Put a lot of flour. Put a lot of flour with this. Okay. okay. Oh, just roll it. Roll it. Right. right. Now, we're not making a cake or a pizza. We're making pasta. Normally, pasta is long, right? So we don't want to make a round thing. Okay. We want to make a long one. All right? So, exactly. Now, you turn it around. Flip it around. This way? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now we leave this over here and you start the windows. Okay, now what are we going to do? Put this in the machine. Okay, normally these machines that they go from number one to number ten. Alright. This is nice to make it with two people. Yeah. Okay, now this goes from a number one to number ten. The number ten is very thick. Okay, number one is very thick. So now we're gonna we're gonna make it thin. Okay. More or less. This is what we need to do again. Okay? Number two. Number two, I use number two every pasta because number one is too thin, then number two is perfect. Okay. Now look at this. Okay, feel how thin it is. Now you know what you can do with this. Exactly like it is. You don't need to do that. You can do anything. You with this, you can even do this is lasagna. Oh, yeah. uh, then you put, uh, let's say that this is the ricotta. All right, you make uh, like uh, this uh, with the ricotta, the mozzarella we just had. Put it inside, uh, roll it, and you make a manicotti. Cannelloni. Mm. Uh, so with this now you can do anything. That's fine. Okay, now what are we going to do? You take this, transfer. Okay. Adam, over here. Okay, now we squeeze the dough. Okay, your dough is a little more tough. So you have to prepare a little meatballs like this and put them like this. Okay. Now look how beautiful is this pasta. Uh, this is it's all a thing, you do it two times, it's okay. You learn. I'm making gap, I don't know to do that, I don't know to do that. All right, I see the people doing it. Uh, imagine we make a pasta for 200 people a day with this little machine, eh? Okay? With that machine? Yeah. Say that now you want to prepare a square face. A square face. Alright, you see the square face? Take a nice, take a nice square down, you pull it, pull it, don't go up and down, alright? Only once, and then take it away. Take away all the extra. Okay. Then with three things. One in the middle, like this. Okay, now what do you do with these too many, too many meatballs? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Save lots of money, I love it. Let me put a big one. I'm doing everything by hand, so you see, you don't need like a, with a squash thing, you know, the, what you call it, I have no idea, but anyway. Yeah, they push the cream comes out, you know, I think over there. Okay. 
piping bag. Did you see you make that? You machine I have the machine. Oh, I, should, I should you do it. see everybody what we've done? Yeah. Okay, now you do this. Okay? <laughs> and then, you're going to have to... You always steal my stuff. Please. Now, if you haven't got this, you can use a cap. Anything that is round. Okay? Then with this, you pull it down, a nice, the same thing of the bow tie, and then you take it away. Okay? Beautiful, beautiful body. Don't go up and down. Yeah, only once a throw. Very good, sir. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, we're almost done. Thank you for the bow tie. That's enough. You see how beautiful it is. It's nice it is on a Sunday. All right. You sit down together with your wife, with your partner, with your friends, with Boy Scouts. And you prepare <laughs> two people, and I say you prepare pasta. This is beautiful. Then you have a nice sauce. You make a bolognese. You like a bolognese? Take a look. Oh, 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 you want to Ecco qua. Fettuccini. Well, hello. Fettuccini because they are fit. Okay. Number two. If oh, we do this uh, number three, is Italian. What is the difference? This is a good question. Difference in Italy. Fettuccini, they look the same. Just the tagliatelle is larger. So if you make a navy sauce with tomato, meat, sausage, you use tagliatelle. If you make a light sauce with cream, like the Alfredo sauce, you use fettuccini. Credo? Now, the most important. Take like this. Yeah. Then do two fingers. Two fingers, not a bad one. There, two fingers. <laughs> Hold and go around, keeping open the fingers. Okay? And then you close the fingers and you do the next. This is very important. Because otherwise, if you don't do this, you have to stay like this with the past and kill the <laughs> <laughs> okay, before you stop laughing, I want to tell you this. Is is completely wrong. <laughs> you never do this at the end. You never squeeze it or try to make it nice looking. Uh, if it comes out of rotten, you don't care nothing. Don't touch it anymore. Why? Because the air is going to keep inside. Okay, and when you're going to put this in the water, these things are going to open again. If you do like this, even a little bit, they're going to say like a block, 90%. <laughs> okay, so this is very important. But once you do this, you never do this. You just leave them like this. For everybody, yeah, you know, she's learning, you all learning. All right, I didn't know that the first time. I had to throw away everything a million times, and then one person said, you don't do this. This was many, many times ago yesterday. Okay, so... Hello, right, now, sir, I need uh, one thing from you. The rest of you, I hope you, you enjoy. I yes. enjoy yes. 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 I want to show you something. Look at your ravioli, okay? See your ravioli? Now, we go in the kitchen and we go to cook. Let's see what happens. Hello, right, everybody, you come and you go to sit down on the table and we go and cook your meal. And yeah, all right, and yeah. This way.